Can't believe here we are in the middle of March and it's blue skies and sunshine. As many of you know, we've been clearing off this eight and a half acre parcel, cutting down trees and pulling stumps. We've been at it about a month now and we're just about, oh, maybe 90% complete. We've still got around the edges, we've got a few trees that we need to get cleaned up. We've got a few mm -hmm. trees up close to the property line that are leaning the wrong direction that may require uh, some special cutting, maybe even bring in a, a tree climber and a crane. You just can't, have, can't afford to have those trees fall the wrong direction. This has been a great project. We've really been fortunate this winter to have as good a weather as we've had. It's let us move this project forward really, really quickly. We've got a lot of equipment. It's given us what we needed to get it done. I'd say the the tool that we use the most is the CAT 320 excavator. It's done the heavy lifting, moving trees around, piling slash, pulling stumps. But every bit of equipment is great and it has its it has its place. For running around quickly, you can't beat the skid loader. Um, you know, for hauling stumps and slash, you can't beat the dump truck. It runs around the site, no problem. It really does take a toolbox full of tools in order to get the job done right and get it done quickly. I am surprised in, in my mind when we started I thought oh eight acres, eight and a half acres this will be quick. It's, it's amazing on eight acres how much there is, how many trees, how many stumps, how much slash and how much work it is to get it cleaned up. If you're thinking about your own project or clearing a home site or or clearing an area for a pasture or field whatever it might be it is unbelievable how much work it takes to get not only the trees on the ground but then stumps cleaned up trees stacked sorted piled things put away before you even start working on whatever your project might be this project has been a lot of fun so far and it's just getting started. We've got site plans and layouts and utilities to work on. We've still got quite a bit of trees and stumps along the edges of the property that need to come out. We'll have to get those cleaned up. Hopefully this spring will continue to be dry. If we get a bunch of spring snow or rain, it may slow us down out here. but. We really did move this fo this project forward with the light winter that we had. I would have never guessed that in February and March that we would get this much done, this much burned, and be able to, to move the project ahead. I really didn't think we would get out here until April or May. I think we'll, we'll be glad that we got this done while we had the time and we weren't weren't dealing with other distractions and other projects going on. We were able to hit it hard, get on it, and stay on it. One of the one of the great tools that we've had on this project is the little D5 dozer for piling slash and moving material and dragging trees. The little dozer has been fantastic. I I don't think it's as good as the excavator, but it's right in there. Uh, we use the heck out of it. And for these type of kind of rough earthwork demolition type projects, this little dozer is the right tool for the job. I think that this this particular project will take us probably two summer seasons to really get it all cleaned up before we can get the mud separated from the sticks and the sticks dried and everything raked out and piled and burned. Um, for now, with some of the snow and mud that we have, we're dealing with, we may just kind of have to push it up, push it out of the way, and then come back to it later in the season when things are warmer and drier and try to rake out this material with all the sticks in it and get it into a slash pile. I definitely don't want this these, these deleterious organic type materials underneath any of the building that we're going to be doing. So whatever I can do to get down to just raw earth and get the sticks and 
leaves, whatever it might be, uh, away from where we're building. This this pile that we're pushing up here, we'll have to come back and revisit this pile later to clean it up. But for now, if, if we can just get it out of the way, it'll let us move forward. You can see it's got a lot of snow in it, a lot of a lot of moisture. So it's going to be an ongoing project to get this cleaned up.